uh, Bing Bing Queer Punk and Variety Show and the Dust Bowl Dolls. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I have almost reached my third year in both uh, both burlesque and sideshow, and I'm constantly still learning with that. Um, what originally uh, sparked your interest in me in doing burlesque and sideshow? Um, I've always really loved sideshow and burlesque. Sideshow has always been a thing. I've always been in love with the circus, and I've always just wanted to be a performer and make people laugh and smile. The world's too serious, and it's just nice to have that brief moment of just happiness and excitement for something. Um, burlesque, I got drawn to at a really young age, and then I started looking into it more as I got older. But um, I just like how you can have women of all shapes, sizes, and colors and they're confident and vulnerable just getting up there on stage and they can do a traditional style classic and serious act or they can do vaudeville comedy it's just really fun seeing the transitions and the different styles and it's also really nice to have a moment where you can get all fancy because not every day i get to dress up so it's nice so how do you usually kind of prepare for a show um getting prepared for a show i usually pick out music and I brainstorm ideas in my head, and then costuming. Uh, it's still a hit or miss. I'm still learning a lot about that. Um, with sideshow prep, uh, I try to practice and also just watch other videos and talk to my boss and learn about the history of like, the act and how to do it and all that stuff. <laughs> just kind of doing it in the moment and just learning from experience. So what do you, uh, you, well you're at Underground Monster Carnival right now, uh, what, do you, what is your feelings about Underground Monster Carnival? Underground Monster Carnival is a very special convention in my heart. It actually is my starting point with uh, my sideshow career and I was getting in, I was dipping my toe into researching more about burlesque, but uh, three years ago I started coming to the Monster Carnival and that's where I met the Carnival Epsilons. And I met all of them, and uh, shortly after that, I started performing with them originally as a fill in, but I soon just got to keep on and I got to still work with them. Uh, last year, I actually uh, got into a car accident before coming to this convention, and I checked myself out of the hospital and I came in my hospital gown, so this one's super important to me because I got to make it here and I get to perform for the first time actually here, so it's really nice. So what would you say your favorite and least favorite sideshow act is? Um, well, I haven't gotten to do many acts so far. Um, my main act that I do is the Apple and Chainsaw Act, so I have a chainsaw really close to my face all the time. Um, tonight I'm going to be performing the Electric Lady Act in the electric chair, so that'll be really nice. My least favorite... It's not even my least favorite. I really want to do it, and it's one of the things that inspired me to join Carnival Epsilon is sword swallowing. Sword swallowing practice is awful. I have the worst gag reflex ever, so conquering that will be a challenge. So that take a lot of practice? Yeah. yeah. Are you used to that? Yep. Um, where's the best place to follow you online? You know? um, my best place to follow me online would be following Carnival Epsilon and also my my page, Lucy Love It. I try to keep it updated. And those, those two, I would say those are the two best ways to follow me. Do you have any advice for uh, other people that are wanting to get into burlesque? Or? The best advice I could give is just get out there. If you have something that you like to do, even if it's something as, like, for Oklahoma, burlesque is pretty unique in a way. It's a very small community of people, but anything, you can make anything possible. You just gotta keep at it and network and just talk to people and just branch out as much as you can. And eventually you'll get somewhere with practice and just talking to people. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.